Hello, thank you so much for tuning into Karuna King TV. This video is all about staying focused and cutting distraction. There are three tips, so let's get right into the first one. The first tip is to look around at your circumstances. More than likely, you want to progress and move on and do better because your circumstances are not suitable for you anymore. The shoe no longer fits. It's time for you to move up and move on to something new and to something better. So that in and of itself, your reason why you want to cut distractions needs to be strong. It needs to be something that you feel inside of you that is a motivating force to say, hey, I have to do what I have to do to progress and level up and get out of this situation. Keep that in mind. Keep that written down at the forefront every day. Pray on it. Do what you got to do. But always remember where you are and where you really want to be. Okay, so step number two is to really depend on yourself and take pride in your actions. So what I mean by that is, you know you have a goal, you know you have something to get to, then you know what work you need to do. You know the steps that it takes. And if it doesn't, this is time to find it out and to show yourself that you are worthy of manifesting what you feel you already have or want on the inside to the outside. You are worthy of that, but you have to show yourself that. And the only way to show yourself that is to do what you need to do. And you will feel pride in that. At the end of the night, when you go to bed, you will close your eyes knowing that you gave your 100%, that you did everything you could do during the time that you had and the circumstances that you are in to progress, to move forward, to keep up with this goal and attract the things that you want into your life. That's what's important. That's what acting with integrity is, is getting up and handling your business. When no one watches, when no one sees you, when no one knows what's going on or even believes in you. But it's up to you to make that happen day in and day out for yourself. So be proud of yourself. Be proud of what you're doing. Believe in yourself and know that you can do it. Okay, and the final step three is to set schedules for things that are not as productive, but you just happen to love. So maybe you love golf, maybe you love the movies, maybe you love skating or snowboarding or whatever it may be. Set time for that because if it is important to you, it is um, productive because it's helping you either physically or mentally or is helping your spirit, it's helping you re regain, regroup, and kind of give yourself a sense of reward, um, a sense of a prize for all the hard work that you've been putting in up into that moment. So weekly or bi-weekly, however often you need to feel like you're kind of getting to relax a little bit or say, okay, I did a good job this week. So maybe on Saturday and Sunday, I can allow myself to hang out with my friends or whatever it is that you love to do, schedule that in so you don't just feel like, okay, I'm just working, 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 and then you burn yourself out or maybe you start to resent your own dream because you're working so much, so hard, and you never get to play, you never get to see anyone, and you lose yourself. We still have to live our lives and keep a balance even while we work. Most of us do. Some of us don't most of us do we need that we need a little bit of freedom a little bit of fun and just hobbies things that we love in our life we need that it could be family time it could be anything that that makes you feel warm inside that makes you feel good and and just calms you down and then that can help you regroup and just get ready for work the next day or the next two days however long you take your break for so I hope y'all enjoyed that. This was just a quick couple minute video on three steps to stay focused and cut out the distraction. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Also like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate y'all so much. Thank you again. Peace.